G'day guys, welcome back to another Shannon's Engineering walk around video. I'm Shannon and today I'm going to show you around this brand new 2022 dual cab Land Cruiser. This one is by far our most popular setup. Colour, suspension, interior, uh, everything about this car. Um, it appeals to everybody and like I said by far it's been our most popular setup. Everybody is wanting uh, this sort of style and we actually have probably five of these at the workshop right now, all the same colour and everything pretty much identical and as you can see in front of me it's bloody beautiful it's just been ceramic coated too so it's extremely shiny so um the dealer's coming to collect this today last chance to make a video before it goes as always so i'll just do a quick little pirouette around the car uh, we've done everything from brand new straight from the dealership to us the owner's checked in a couple of times he's, he's actually sydney based so that was handy for him to pop in and um i can show him around the car and how everything works before he collects it uh sideboards were a last minute thing originally he did not want them but at the end he thought why not um he's going to get a canopy later on and he's got options for that so uh we've done a 4.2 j max coil conversion in the in the rear widened diff track uh, fully legal, all engineered interior. We've got nice leather, custom leather seats in there, which I'll go through in a minute. Uh, this thing is uh, very appealing. Um, it's a good all rounder, a good base platform for a work ute, a tourer, uh, just an all round general good ute. Um, okay, I guess we'll start off at the back here since I'm here. We've got our standard dual cab tray in Raptor black finish, as always. You do have the option for color coding. One piece mud guards in there, and we've also included the stone deflector. It stops any sand and stones and mud getting up under your tray and sitting on top of your fuel tank. Um, in the toolbox there, that LED light is standard. That's on your parker circuit, and a nice big empty box with central locking. We've got dust seals on the doors, so no water or mud, dust gets in the back there. Around the back, this is our um, general setup in the back. We have a high pressure tap outlet in the rear and the genuine fuel filler right there. So uh, filling up from either side of the service station is easy. Uh, the, the Bowser reaches from both sides, so that's nice and handy. Um, for the fuel, we've got the Brown Davis 185 litre fuel tank under there. So that's all connected up and will flow nicely with the high flow pump. We've got a rear drawer, aluminium rear drawer, nice and dustproof. And as you can see there, the trundle drawer light is actually the number plate light. So if you want a bit of light at night, just put your parkers on. Our trays come with a hose for the, the water pump connection. Um, I might as well show you while I'm here. Try and do this one handed. Take this little dust cap off. A quarter turn. Gives you your tap fitting and then you can turn it on from here and underneath there is a pump switch so you can turn the pump on from there and then the pump also has a pressure valve so you can uh, if you if you do use a trigger nozzle the pump will turn off uh, not having to use the switch so often and we just chuck in one of these so trigger nozzle for that um, that's it for the drawer it's also lockable and then we've got a reverse flood light there these tail lights actually do have reverse sequential indicator and reverse in it and then on top of that we also put uh, LED rock lights under the tray which you can see there there's the pump switch uh, we've got rock lights at the back and for those who don't know our standard tray setup we also have rock lights here at the front so um, reversing at night is a breeze nice and lit up all the way around the wheels drop sides full aluminium no shaky no rattles. Uh, we powder coated the drop side hinges black. These are actually stainless steel as well, so you can you don't have to have them black if you don't want them. Um, the drop sides are made from three mil pressed aluminium, and then we also put a skin on the inside to stop any damage which may affect the finish on the outside, I suppose. It also finishes off nicely, stops any dirt and shit getting stuck in the in basically the folds of the sheet metal. Um, flooring sheets have been powder coated black. Uh, they are removable, 
with a M6 stainless steel screw. So if you want to do any work underneath the tray or give it a good clean out, simply just remove the sheets yourself and lift them out. If you ever damage them or whatever, if you're using them for work and in a couple of years they look like shit, you can always uh, take them off and get them re-powder coated. We've also zinc powder coat primed the aluminium to ensure that it, it definitely uh, sticks to the aluminium properly. And um, using this on my work ute as well, I can definitely vouch for it. It's definitely not gonna come off. We've got the two spares up the back there. If he wants the canopy later, the spares can be remounted on the back of the canopy and it's not gonna take up any room of your headboard and that's all standard with our, our standard trays. Okay, around this side, another toolbox and we've got the notch out for the exhaust, central locking and we do have a uh, twin, piston, twin piston ARB compressor there. The compressor is switched on from in the toolbox and underneath we've got two aluminium air tanks under there, which are connected to the compressor, obviously. And see that one's got pressure in it there. That, that gauge there is just um, a, visual, a visual gauge. You don't really need to look at it a lot. Um, we've also got brass drain valves there. Um, there is an uh, ARB quick connect fitting in that toolbox and in that toolbox for pumping up your tires. While I'm down here, we've got the uh, Marx four wheel drive high mount tow bar. This is a three and a half ton tow bar with five ton recovery points on the ends and we've mounted the plug up there nice and high. And that's our low pressure tap outlet. So if you wanna wash your hands, wash your feet, fill up a glass of water, and you don't need to use the pump up there, you can simply just use that tap there. And that's how you fill the tank as well, by the way, for those who are asking. Uh, we've got the three and a half inch torque exhaust, all the way back to the DPF, so fully street legal, gives it a nice note, and also is designed to wrap over the coil conversion at the back here, which I'll get under and show you guys. There you can see the, the exhaust there is uh, looping over the coils, giving you uh, heaps of room under there. So while we're under here, let's talk about the suspension. Um, this is a widened diff track and designed for 4.2 ton. We've got the, uh, the coils and we have helper bags in there as well. So uh, if you guys want to um, put a big caravan on the back, you can just put a bit of air in those airbags and it's just gonna help in the back. And then for the shocks, we've got the new J-Max Alpha uh, remote res shocks with in-cab controls. So no more getting under here and winding the, the knob. You can do that from in the cab, which I'll explain to you when we go inside. That's front and back, by the way. So up the front, we've got the same shocks. I don't know if you can see that under the, up there. We've got the shock up there and there is a wire going inside the car. And then we've got the billet radius arms also in the front. Okay, we've got the BF, we've got the BF uh, tires, KM3s, and also the uh, ROH Vapor rims. These are a Neg 12 offset, fully street legal. Fills out the guards a bit. Also wrapped a coat of the front flares just to go with the black theme, very popular. And our Shannon's Engineering uh, stone deflection bit down the bottom there. Um, the ARB side steps, we have uh, modified them by changing the color of the tread there just to tie it all in together. Um, let's move right along. OCAM mirrors, towing mirrors, uh, pretty much a necessity. A big car like this, the tray, the tray is wider than the cab there, so if you have your standard mirrors on there, it's a little bit harder to see out the back. <clears throat> we go with the OCAMs because they're a bit more square. It's a very boxy car. Sorry about the noise, guys. The big truck is moving. Around the front, ARB Lux Bull Bar. And this one is the new finish. This is like a matte black finish. So they don't do the normal black powder coating anymore. This is their only option. And we've got some steady Type X Pros, the Rumba 11 XP winch. And we've got the uh, winch hook here from Factor 55 hidden behind the number plate. So the thing about these new uh, tech update cars is guys, you do have a radar up there near the mirror. And there's also a radar in the grill, which we have relocated to the front here. So it's not interfering with the winch box or the spotties. So moving that all forward allows us to change the grill. No worries, it's all gonna work fine. We've also updated the light bulbs in there to LED, uh, both Parker high and low beam. So a bit better at night. 
the standard headlights that come with this are literally from the 80s. So it's pretty much a must have to up, update them a bit. Unless you don't drive at night, of course. Again, sorry about the noise, I'm right near the road. Uh, okay, we've got the J-Max shocks in there as well. Nothing else to really see. Now, funnily enough, the snorkel, <clears throat> we didn't change the snorkel or tint the windows because the dealer is doing that free of charge. Like I said, this is going back to the dealership now. So um, very, very strange that they want to do that. Uh, do a snorkel, that's the first we've ever heard of it. In fact, we have already changed the air box. So now they're gonna have to deal with taking all this off. Um, and hopefully they don't get any swarf stuck down there. When we do the snorkel in, uh, put the snorkel on, when we cut the hole out there, we, we, we strip the whole bloody car apart to make sure we do it properly. And again, this has been ceramic coated, so they're gonna have to deal with that. Um, anyway, not, not my problem now. I tried to get him, get us to do it, to so save him the hassle. Anyway, um, okay, in, up the front here, we've got the Shannon's Engineering uh, bolstered seats. These are n not required to be engineered because we use the genuine Toyota seat bases. So um, it's nice and safe, nice leather, plush uh, fitting with the nice big bolsters. These also have the air lumbar support, passenger and driver. So I'll just turn this light off. Up the front there, we've got the uh, Kenwood 10 and a half inch uh, display there, head unit. It does a lot of things. We've also upgraded the speakers. Front and back, we've got the Department of Interior speakers there. Front and back, and these are the new ones. So no more uh, kicking the covers off like the old Alpine speakers. So um, up here, we've got the quad lock phone holder, and that is uh, wireless charging as well. So just pop your phone on there and she'll be charging. And we've also installed a double USB there for your accessories. And that's also the phone one there, by the way. Let me just jump in. Uh, Department of Interior center console, looking lovely. And then here's the uh, shock controls I was telling, telling you about earlier. This is from J-Max. So you have full control of your shocks up front. And you still have your ashtray, by the way. And up here, we've got that winch controller. We can control our winch power, so we can turn our winch on and off, and then to activate the winch, it's just wireless. So um, you just have the wireless button. Besides that, oh yeah, black tuck seat covers in the back. And that's pretty much it for in here. Uh, let me pop the hood. Okay, we've got a high and low beam spotlight isolator switch there, and Red Arc Tow Pro fitted to the tow bar. We're towing those big trailers. Sun's coming up now, starting to glow. Let me just put the phone down for a sec. Okay. Engine bay, nice and clean. It will never be this clean again. So, um, yeah. Up the front here, we've got the Red Arc BC to DC charger, which is gonna charge that second battery. And we've got the GSL intake pipe work, air box, all the way down to the turbo. The winch isolator is mounted there, nice and safely. And then we've got the diesel care pre-filter, J-Max uh, upgraded brake booster, double diaphragm. It's gonna help with the uh, 4.2 GVM. And that's pretty much it for up the front here. Nice, nice and clean, like I said. So uh, guys, this pretty much wraps up the video. In fact, I think I've covered everything. I've tried to make this really short. Short and sweet, straight to the point. Um, if you've got any questions about this car or you wanna uh, look into it further, check out our website because this will all be on there under the recent builds tab and there'll be a, heaps of photos. I'm gonna get on the camera now and take some uh, nice high res photos. Um, like I said guys, if you're interested in something like this, just uh, contact us at sales at shannonsengineering.com.au and um, go watch another video. Cheers guys, see ya.